Hello everyone, Fantix here back with another uh, clicking game series episode and today we're making a backpack shop. You guys have been dying for this. So let's get right into it. So um there's there's one bug with this backpack shop and I'm gonna fix it and I'm gonna make a little, another part fit making it cooler and better in the next part. But yeah, so what you wanna do first is of course make the GY. And you wanna name it Backpack GY Backpack Shop GY And you wanna make a frame. Uh I'm gonna put it right make it how big you want. Point five five five. I'm putting it to the middle and doing that. Okay, and I'm gonna make a UI corner, and then we're gonna do title. Do that. Size one comma zero. Video one, and I'm gonna do um backpack shop, and I'm gonna name it title. And then I'm gonna do a frame. This is where our info is gonna be in the buy button. So we're gonna put it right here. And we wanna make background transparency to one info. And you wanna make an image label in it so you could change the icon. And I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna make a text label and this is gonna be let me just make a UI corner. Backcom transparency one. This is gonna be the tool name. I mean not tool name. Backpack shop name. So let's do that right here. Name text label. This is gonna be the Capacity, like it's just gonna say how much capacity it holds. Capacity, and last but not least, we're gonna do price. Price, and price. Oh yeah, guys, don't name, don't name your tax label name because this um. Uh, actually, I'll show you. It's gonna pop up an error. Uh, yeah, just don't do it. Just, just do whatever you want. And last but not least, we're gonna do a buy button. And just put it right there. Make it green. Y corner. Reduke one. Put and buy. And I'm gonna name it buy and add a local script inside of it and now you want to do add a scrolling frame this is going to be our backpack item things so that's why i'm making a scrolling frame so if you have multiple so i'm gonna put it like this back on transparency to one and I'm gonna make this white with no border. And we could just name this items. Add a text button. This is gonna be backpack one. Backpack one. I'm gonna make it red because why not? You can make it an image button, of course. I'm just gonna do one. Um, Customize this however you want. My corner two, and I'm gonna make this one green. Or right, in today's episode, we're only gonna be doing one, so we're gonna leave this. Or right, okay, now I'll show you. I'll show you guys how to make two in the next episode. But now you wanna delete this this world blue script because we're making a whole different one. And let me just find it real quick. Here. And what you want to actually type 
is um almost the same thing but different script that parent that parent that parent that parent uh yep that's good uh script the parent dot mouse button will click connect function the PLR dot liter stats dot galaxy dot value is equals equal to PLR dot liter stats dot max to value then PLR dot player GUI dot main UI dot backpack dot frame this has to be capital P dot visible is equal to true and then I'm gonna do else PLR dot leader stats dot galaxy dot value is equal to PLR dot leader stats dot galaxy dot value plus one times the world PLR dot world boost dot value and that's that script now you want to make um you uh we're gonna do the this um so what you want to do is script the parent on the mouse button on click connect function and you want to do script the parent up parent up parent dot info dot re you're gonna do the name dot text is equal to back Pack one. This is your name. Script up parent up parent up parent dot info dot price dot text is equal to. We're gonna do twenty five gems for this first one. Script up parent up parent up parent dot info dot um capacity dot text is equal to twenty five capacity. And that should be it. You want to duplicate the script, put it inside backpack 2, 50 gems and 50 capacity, and backpack 2. Now you want to do the buy script. Um, hmm. So let's get uh, our player. So player name get service. Or I could just do it. Yeah, I guess. Um, it's the same thing, doesn't really matter. Now, local player script up here. That's why I'm going to click connect function. If PLR, or I named it player, player dot leader stats dot gems the dot value is greater than 25 and PLR dot leader stats dot let me make a bool value already already bought and now what you want to do is oops i keep getting it wrong plr dot already bought dot value is equals equal to false and Player dot leader stats dot max dot value is equal to twenty five capacity, and then player dot leader stats dot already bought dot value is equal to true. Player dot leader stats dot gems dot value is equal to. I'm doing the currency gems. You guys can do whatever you want. Minus 25, of course. And then the script up here in that text is equal to purchased successfully. Wait, one. Script up here in the text is equal to. Um. Equipped. Else. If player dot leader stats player dot leader stat stat leader stats 
Whoops, and that's the wrong thing. We're gonna do this. Um, the value is equals equal to true then. You wanna do script up here and text is equal to already bought. So they can't buy it multiple times. Um, script the parent the background color the color three from RGB and you want to do two five so we're making it red that's how you make it red eight one two the parent is equal to buy or did I do it all capital yeah I did do it all capital no actually I think we should make it like that buy and then you want to make it back to green, or whatever color it is. So I'll do that. And there we go. And I'm going to do else again. This is for if you don't have enough money. Tax is equal to not enough money. And you want to make it red again. Wait, one. And you're gonna put it back to green. And that should be the script. I think we're all done with everything. Let's test it. Real quick. Okay. So one backpack, there we go. But I only scripted it so the first one gives us. So this is our thing. And if we buy it, not enough money. So I'm gonna real quick just make a text button to open it. Uh, we could just put it right here. And I'm just gonna make a local script saying script up here and up here. Oh no, script up here and I'm not going to it. Connect function script up here and up here dot frame dot visible is equal to true. And you want to do that, copy the script, add a text button here, this is our close, put it up here, and add a lo uh, local script, alright, we have to do the script up parent, parent, dot parent, dot frame, that was going to be the false, and Let's test it. Oh yeah, and to give ourselves money, such a gem here. Do this one. You delete the leaderboard. Change the cash to like a lot. Do gems, and let's test it. Okay. Let's see. So if we click, go up, and the cell isn't working right now. Cell is not. Oh, yeah. I think I named it something else by accident. Yep. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. Uh, let's do cell. And let's test. So, uh, the cell is a bug I need to fix. See, as you can see, it doesn't sell. And, yeah. Now, let's actually buy this oh yeah i don't i didn't even pick it up are you serious pick it up buy this and already bought and it goes up to that and we could still click so there's still some errors with that like let me show you i need to make a save too and this doesn't go away when you upgrade your backpack so I just wanted to make this video because you guys have been dying for it and we're still fixing it and this is like really simple to make um yeah and there's another bug I need to fix and it's right here so if you go inside a world boost you can go over the max so we're uh, uh I'm still um figuring that out but yeah, did I make this gems? I made that coins. Yeah. 
Um, I guess it's going well so far. Um, comment down below if you guys want me to, um, open this with a GUI or a, uh, art like this. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like, it helps me a ton. And join the Discord server, link in the description. And peace.